Hi folks. In both academic and competitive public speaking, a very common tool used by speakers is something known as a speaker's triangle. During the course of a speech, as a speaker moves through their main points, the idea is to use movement to signal to the audience the movement of ideas in the speech. In this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate a speaker's triangle into your own speeches. Let's get to it. The first important thing to understand is there are actually two different types of speaker's triangle, the four-point setup and the three-point setup. In this tutorial, I will actually show you how to use both types, but we'll go ahead and start with the four-point setup. In your typical speech, you have an introduction, three main points, and a conclusion. The goal of a speaker's triangle is to show movement between those five things. In the four-point method, you do that by moving to four different points on the stage over the course of the speech. Let's take a look at how that might look. At the beginning of the speech, the speaker should orient themselves in the center of the room facing the audience. This is where they'll go ahead and deliver the introduction of the speech. As the speaker finishes the introduction and they use a transition statement to tell the audience that they're moving from the introduction to the first main point, the speaker should physically move from the center of the room to the far side of the room and plant themselves to deliver the first main point of the speech. When they are done delivering the first main point of the speech, they should again use a transition statement to signal that they're moving from the first main point to the second main point, while again physically moving from the far side of the room to the center of the room. Once they reach the center of the room, they should then deliver the second main point of the speech. When they're done with the second main point, they'll again use a transition statement to signal that they're moving from the second main point to the third main point. Like before, this should be coupled with a physical movement from the center of the room to the other far side of the room. Once the speaker is done presenting the third main point of their speech, they're then ready to move into the conclusion. At that point, they should use a brake light statement to transition from the third main point to the conclusion of the speech, while again physically moving back to where they started in the front of the room. As the conclusion comes to a close, many speakers will also take one additional step forward to add emphasis to their finalizer. Now that we've explored the theory, let's take a look at what it might look like in action. In this 3D rendering, you'll notice that the model starts in the center of the room for the introduction then moves to the far side of the room for main point one, to the middle for main point two, and then over to the other far side of the room for main point three, and then moves back to the center to deliver the conclusion before finally taking a step forward to add emphasis to the finalizer. Now that we've got the basics of the speaker's triangle down, let's take a look at the other option, the three-point setup. The three-point setup is the same basic idea as the four-point setup, but in this model, instead of moving to four separate points, you bounce back and forth between the sides of the room. This is particularly useful if you find yourself presenting in a small space. Like before, we can expect our speaker to begin in the center of the room to deliver the introduction, and then move to the far side for main point one. When main point one is done, they'll move to the other side of the room and deliver main point two. As main point two draws to a close, they'll bounce back over to the far side for main point three. And then when they wrap up main point three, they'll move back to the center for that conclusion spot. And again, if they like, they can take a step forward at the end for the finalizer. Great, now this time, let's go ahead and see what this might look like in action. Our speaker begins for the introduction in the center of the room. And as they finish the introduction, they state a transition statement and move to the far side of the room to deliver main point one. As main point one draws to a close, they again use a transition statement to signal that they're moving on to main point two as they physically walk to the other side of the room. Once they're done delivering main point two, they will once again give a transition statement signaling that they are moving to main point three. While doing this, they'll once again walk back to the other far side of the room. Once they finish with main point three, this time they will use a brake light transition statement to let us know that they're headed to the conclusion. As they do that, they will return to the center of the room where they began their speech. There, they will finalize the conclusion and end the presentation. Well, folks, that's really all there is to it. As always, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and good luck with your speech. Thanks for watching.